Hey guys, it's NPC Cora back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be continuing Your Turn to Die Death Game by Majority. Just a fair warning, this game contains jump scares and loud noises, so if you aren't comfortable with that, click off or proceed with caution. Enjoy the video. Isn't it just- a, it's a doll? Huh? Oh, you're right. A litter? Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. What? Find her body? Where could the body be? Do we even have to find it, Meow? This could be a trap. That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we search outside of this room. Isn't that dangerous? I want to get back home. Can't just sit still here. Let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? <laughs> I'm scared. If there's some other horrible device like the first trial... Me and now can me and now can look after Kana. If you guys are in a danger, haul your ass back here. Well then, who should I go with? Joe, someone trustworthy, someone to keep an eye on, act alone. We get to choose who to go exploring with. I want to go exploring with Kana. Oh, but Reko and Nile are taking care of her, right? So I can't go exploring with Kana. Um, the people, the trustworthy people are basically only Joe, Gin, and and these three. And people to keep an eye on are KG, uh, whatever his name was. I, I, don't, I don't know about Kitaro. He's kind of okay. Um, let's go with someone trustworthy. Let's see, Kitaro is powerful. Now can vouch for Professor Mishima. Maybe Gin since he's just a kid. They all look so suspicious though. I don't want to search with you! I get the feeling we're going to have to either way. Eh? Sorry, if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just... I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too. Don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> but throwing around a word like trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, it's it's not like I really distrust you, so... Alright, let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. And be sure to share any info you find. Are we... We're actually... Get, we, have to, we have to search with... with what's his name? So? Sal? So? I don't know his name, but, like, we have to search with him, really? Alright, Miss Sarah, where should we go? The first trial, a doll head and a body. Let's try to find some kind of clue. Oh, okay, we get to move around. There's so many rooms to explore! Where can we go? Oh, only three places, but they're all- okay. Let's go to- let's start shortest to longest. Oh, is this a cafeteria of sorts? This looks like a cafeteria. I wonder if our kidnappers are telling us to eat up here. It's okay, there's stuff on the table. There's some something on the table. Obtained a small dart. It's small, but it looks fancy. The tip is sharp, so be careful. Yeah. Is that a lighter? Something on the table? Obtained a lighter. That's an expensive looking Zippo lighter. Oh, um, okay. Where else can we go? Back of cafeteria or central hall? Is central hall the place you came from? So let's go to the back of cafeteria. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What an imposing atmosphere. The red lamp is eerie. I don't think I have the courage to enter that door. Yeah, me neither. Can we- we can't go in the door? Whoa, it's not locked. What should we do, Miss Sarah? I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not going to. Uh, good. <laughs> okay, let's explore everywhere else first and then come back. Oh, there's a green vending machine here. It seems to sell drinks, but I've got no money. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing... Vending machine with high prices. Water and soda both cost a thousand yen? Talk about price gouging. Goddamn. It, this looks like a bar. Seems to be a lot of alcohol present, but you're underage, so keep away, Miss Sarah. Aren't you also underage? You better not drink it- Oh no, wait, he's job hopping. You better not drink at a time like this either, so. On the other hand, some might say there's no better time to drink. There's a bunch of names on the blackboard. Can drink. Alice, Kai, Kazumi, Keiji, Shunsuke, So, Naomichi, Mai, Megumi, Reko, and Kitaro. Okay, who are the people we know? We know Kai, I think. He's Kai Saito. He's the, the guy with the frying pan. Kazumi is this guy. Um, Keiji's the policeman. I don't know who this is. So is the guy we we're searching with. Now is the one that came with... No, wait. Now is... Wait, no. Now is a high school student. No, wait. She's in college. So she can drink. Now can drink. Now is the other girl that came with this guy. Um, we don't... Who are these people? Reko and Kitaro, we know. Okay. So we know, we only, we don't know one, two, three, four, five. We don't know, there are five more people we can find. Can't drink Anzu, Kana, Gin, Kuji, Sarah, Joe, Nao, Hinako, Renmar. Huh? 
Okay, there's more people on this list too. We know Jin. It's this person. Uh, that's us. That's Joe. Now is the guy, the girl with this guy, and that's it. There's we don't and Kana. We don't know Anzu, Hinako, and Renmaru and Kuji. So there's like a whole other, there are a whole other like set of people to find. Our names of some strangers too. Don't tell me the people who we haven't seen are. Ha haven't seen or what? What? What do you mean? Okay, wait, let's talk to- let's talk to this guy. Professor Mishima is inspecting every inch of the room. Oh, Miss Sarah! Have you encountered any dangers? Please take utmost caution, yes? What's this? Eh? This lighter? Indeed. Did you find it somewhere? Yeah, in the cafeteria. Perhaps you mean to light up a- What? I'm not gonna smoke? Then, uh, could I hang on- are you going to smoke? He's a bizarrely wary of underage smoking. Handed the lighter over to Professor Mishima. Okay. Skin is searching at a low eye level. Bars are just full of alcohol, meow. I hate alcohol. And I hate my drunkard dad- Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. Your dad has a bad drinking habit? He's an annoyance. What? When you drink, you gotta be sure not to get swallowed up yourself. I'm drinking H2, I ought to be careful. Feel like there's something on the- Oh. Feel like there's something on the, on the side of the counter. Move the stool out of the way. A sliding door. There's a sliding door on the side of the counter. Open it. Let's open it, I guess. Ha! Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Won't open. Ugh, I'm too weak. I really doubt I could open this. Oh, can we get, like, Kitaro to, to do it for us? Wait, okay, let's go back out and find Kitaro. There's a red vending machine here. Seems to sell cigarettes and in the back is a smoking area, I guess. Don't buy any if you're underage, of course. Can't go turning you into a delinquent, Miss Sarah. Even lots of delinquents don't smoke, honestly. That's true. I guess, uh, Kazumi would use this. The vending machine is stocked with cigarettes. There's something in the dispensing slot. Taint a cigar. It's, it's got a high-class feel, huh? Yeah, it does. Can we go give this to Kazumi? Is this a game room? Pretty lo uh, lonesome, considering. Feels like there's some kind of puzzle or trick to this place. I'm relying on your- I'll rely on your insight, Miss Sarah. What's with the floor? Why is this alone? Do If we walk here, will we fall in? Is someone gonna fall in there? Red room, smoking area, hallway, or blue room. Go with the red room, I guess. Red room is tightly shut and can't be opened. What the actual hell is happening here? Whoa, what are those? There's human-shaped figures sitting in the chairs. Let's get closer and check them out. Uh, okay, let's talk to KG. Hey, Sarah, put on your- put on- what? Put out your hand? Huh? Uh, what? Why do we have bullets? Received three bullets? Wait, these are- No, they're not mine. Found them while checking the seats. I've never seen these in person. Are these real bullets? Probably. Dangerous stuff, so would you take them? Why me? Joe will get antsy if I have them. That said, I can't give them to Joe either. So I'm counting on you, Sarah. Oh, okay, we got bullets. We got bullets. It would appear this is a doll. Its placement here seems significant. The head has a weighty feel. When I shake it, I hear this sloshing sound. Oh. Are they real people? Is there liquid inside? Perhaps the kidnapper's aim is to have us stick a straw in here for hydration when we find ourselves there. That's- that's disgusting. <laughs> the head seems really solidly built though. Apologies, I was trying to tell you- <sighs> That was a really bad joke. At a time like this, I'm truly really sorry. I'm alright with him, I guess. He- Sarah was saying he kinda looks familiar to her, so I'm kinda wary, but he's alright, I guess. I wonder what this big painting is for. Finding it curious? Yeah. Maybe try taking it off the wall. I think I'll check the easy things first, like these chairs. Besides, Sarah's just barely out of my reach, huh? Hey, I grew centimeters since last year. Don't take me lightly. <laughs> Don't put me down, man. <laughs> I'll be calling you shorty someday. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, this painting looks really cool. We can't touch it, though. Kitaro. Sure is a suspicious place, I'll tell you what. What are you doing, Kitaro? Just getting a big old view of the room. But these guys, they're checking every corner, no hesitation. Ain't they scared of traps? Yeah, I would be too. Let's go to the game room. Uh, we have that, we have a cigar, so let's go give it to... Let's go give it to Kazumi and tell him that there's a smoking room, I guess. Professor Machina is inspecting every inch of the room. Please tell me if you need anything, Miss Sarah. Hmm? What is that? Eh? That cigar. A miner can't be carrying around such a thing. I wasn't going to smoke, I thought it might be a clue. Is that so? Apologies for my suspicion. It seems I slip into teaching mode whenever I see a student. However, uh, well, let's see. Uh, yes, could you let me hold on to that? 
I'm telling you I won't smoke. Right, is he gonna smoke it? Headed the cigar over to Professor Mishima. There's also a smoking room, man, if you wanna if you wanna head over to that. Uh I don't know what else to do. Oh, I inspected the machine on the pedestal. It's a dartboard. How dreary. Playing here would feel just as lonely. Should I throw the Oh, we can throw the dart? Yeah, I'd throw it. Hiya! Forcefully throw the dart toward the target. Suddenly a strong wind blows from above. The dart plummets into darkness. Lost the dart? Such a shame. Zero points. What was the point of that? <laughs> what was the point? Okay. Um, let's go to the- let's see if we can try the red room. No, I can't go in the red room. Okay, let's go back, I guess. Maybe we missed something in the blue room. Something strange is sitting on the seat. Looks like it's a doll. A doll, huh? Let's inspect it, let's not touch it. I mean, they're all just touching the doll, so let's inspect it. Let's take it off the chair and inspect it. The doll's attached to the chair? Feels like there's something to this. Well, that's good anyway. I don't know what I do if it suddenly attacks. Um, huh? Taking a closer look, there's something between the doll and the chair. Is this a gun? Obtain a revolt. What? We have bullets and a gun. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. What are you going to do with that, Sarah? Eh? Ah, sorry, Miss Sarah. Hey, would you give me that? No, I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. No, I don't trust you. That's right. You shouldn't let it leave your sight. Doesn't seem to have bullets, so definitely don't hand it over. But definitely don't hand it over to someone else. I understand. Uh, I don't. I don't. Tr I didn't trust that at all. That was that was suspicious as hell. Better have a good policeman to look a little around. You keep it up too. I have a gun. I have a gun. A revolver. A weapon that fires bullets can be charged with up to nine bullets in its circular chamber. What's the large hole in the center for? Kitaro, we need you to go do something. Doesn't seem the security cameras. What? No, Kitaro, I need you to help me with this thing. Now and Rekka are looking after a fainted Kana. Sarah, come come run if you're in danger, alright? Feel free to leave the hallway lift into the heavy lifting for the guys. Then again, the scrawny beanie kid doesn't look so tough himself. You better run too. <laughs> oh, what a cutting remark. <laughs> Best of luck, everyone. Uh, I like I like these three. They're really nice. I like them. I hope they don't die. <laughs> oh, what? The dart reappeared on the table. What? The dart reappeared on- how did we- how did the dart reappear on the table? Does that mean that we have to keep trying that thing until we get it right? Well, I did it again and it told me the same dialogue again. So like, how- what does that mean? The look, the dart's back! I threw it at the freaking thing and the dart's back again. Oh yeah, we were checking- we uh, we didn't go into this room. Whoa, it's not locked. What should we do, Miss Sarah? Are we going in? Yeah. Here goes. <sighs> Oh my god, what is that? What is that? I'm getting chills. I don't like this. Clothed doll torso leans against the wall. Uh, it's not gonna move, is it? Could this be related to the head in the box used as a blunt weapon? No, it's related to the head in the box, right? Do you remember that note KG read? Find the body. Right, there was a note in there. I wonder if the doll's head- the doll head from the box could be combined with this torso. Would that make something happen? It might, which is a little scary. Yeah, right. Let's let's search around some more first. Uh-huh. So, was it? I'm glad you remember my name. Of course, man. Keep watch of Sarah for me. I think I need to worry more about not dragging her down. Could probably combine- I touched the gun and it said could probably combine this with another weapon. Stuck the dart into the large hole in the center of the revolver. Combine dart with the revolver? Everything's worth a try. Can I fire this dart now? Oh, so can we go back to the game room and do this now? Oh, I shot it. Congratulations. Please look into the hole. Exercising caution, I looked into the hole around the dartboard. I saw something within reach. Ooh, obtained a, a what? Obtained the left leg? Ugh, that's the worst. Huh? Oh, looking closer, it's a doll's leg. Okay, good. How me to pull the same trick over and over? I'm pulling. On, I'll hold on to this. Okay, so has the so has the uh, the leg. We need someone to open this door, but how? How do we get someone to open the door? Something sitting next to the stuffed animals. I came back to this room and it's and like touched everywhere. Obtained bullet. Wait, obtained bullets? What? These feel pretty light. Hey, let me look at those. Ah, these are dummy bullets. Dummies. They're like toys. If you put these in a gun, they won't fire. So they're not real bullets. Yeah, they're safe at any rate. I know, let's have KG look at these. He should have more expertise than us, so maybe he could tell us something. 
I'm hoping they can give us some kind of clue about the culprits. Okay, let's go talk to Keiji now. Hey Sarah, you find anything out? No, there's still plenty I don't get. What's especially strange to me is how there were gun and bullets into this room. What meaning could there be to the kidnappers giving us a weapon? Might want to cause discord. Discord? A weapon that puts one person at an advantage who'd want to hand that over to someone else. A fight over a weapon. Yeah, that's plausible. But we've got good old Sarah with us, so we won't fall for that trap. Why do you trust me so much? Because you're cute. Uh, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. KG's been intentionally guiding everyone to put their trust in me. I wonder why. I didn't expect you to respond to a compliment with such a doofiest look. Oh right, KG, I found these dummy bullets in the cafeteria. What's that? Handed the bullet, the dummy bullets to KG. Do they seem like a clue? I'll check them out. Now what to do while he's investigating? Guess I'll search elsewhere. Oh Sarah, hold on a sec. Yeah? Before leaving the room, I turn around and... Oh, Miss Sarah, aren't you coming? Uh, what's what's going on? What the? Miss Sarah, are you okay? Iron bars appeared over the door, separating me from so. We've been locked in. Cut. It won't open. I'll look for something to pry with. Oh no. Well, this sure is bad. Sarah, are you hurt? No, I'm okay, but... Damn it, it's a trap. Who knows what'll happen? Stay alert. Hey now, don't push your... What? Who's this? Hey now, don't put yourself so on guard. What? Whose voice is that? Whoa! It moved, it moved, it moved. Haha, <laughs> don't sell the details. Look, it moves! What the f- what? I'm the master of this room. You can call me Meister. Now to get right to it, let me explain the rules of the next game. The rules? Well, of course. You want to stake your life without even knowing the rules? You're a real character, man. Stake my life? That's one simple rule. Right now, you have five human beings in the room. Glance around the room. There's four open seats. One will be the challenger, the other four will sit down and be targets. Targets? For what? Well, I give you I gave you that cool weapon here in the room, didn't I? What? We're gonna be targets for a revolver? What are the rules to this? Surely there's, there's an outcome where nobody dies. <laughs> Naturally, a regular dust trap is just an old hat, get me? But see, first you'll have to decide who will be the challenger for me. You're telling us to decide who's gonna shoot without knowing what the game is? Who's gonna want to be the targets? Will the challenger be safe? Yep, only the targets get to relish the thrill. What a shame. I see. Sarah, can I ask you to be the challenger? What? Don't kid me! You can't decide that all on your own. Suppose it may not be proper to make a young girl handle a gun. I'm all in favor- I'm in favor of it myself. Sarah's got a clear head. Uh... Well, Sarah, are you confident? Confident. Uh, I... If I choose yeah, that means I am safe. But that also means that I'll probably have to decide who to die. Who gets to die? Um, I don't want any of these people to die. <laughs> like, as much as I, I'm suspicious of them, I don't want them to die. If so is here, maybe. But, like, I am confident. Joe. In that trial, he did what I counted on him to do. Now he's making a request of me. I'll handle this, definitely. Please let me do it. No way, can't approve of that. It's not like I don't trust you. Don't think badly of me. Holding on, holding it to a vote. Ah, uh, a majority vote. Roll credits. This is, perhaps that is the best way to settle this. Why don't we discuss it and then hold a majority vote? Yeah, might be the only way. Right. Gotcha, let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. Talk to me when you're all set. Wait, let me save, let me save. You prepared for the discussion? Yeah, let's do it. I'm always on your side. What did he mean by I'm always on your side? Alright, let's discuss who's gonna take the role of challenger. Once we've settled our opinions, we'll hold a vote at the end. Sarah, you know what's up. Sure, Kitaro, it makes you worth trusting. Uh, oh no. We gotta have one we, we can trust the most to be a challenger, I'm thinking. No objections there, right? So let's talk it out. <sighs> Development. Straight to the point. I've got I've got experience handling guns, so leave being the challenger to me. Is that true? Yep, I hate lies. I got really acquainted with shooting when I went to the US. So you're saying you've had training. I'll keep it simple too. Kitaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. Really now? Sorry. Moon has become quite tense. Yeah, tell me about it. 
I am undecided. It pains me to put the responsibility on Miss Sarah. She'll be fine. She's got the mind. She's got a mind of steel. Call her Steel Mind. Steel Mind. Don't get caught up on that part. <laughs> well, Sarah, can you think of any rebuttals? Rebuttals. There isn't a lot I can say myself, is there? I'll think about it. Ask me if you're not sure. We'll stress it out. We'll stress about it together. That's a real friend, but won't necessarily settle it. But won't necessarily settle it. Let's just. He's the one that's opposed. Straight to the point. I've got experience handling guns, so leave being the challenger to me. Not a lot of people in this country who handle guns. My experience is valuable, ain't it? We don't know the game and what the game entails, but if it requires skills with a gun, then yes. Right. I ain't thinking a single thought about keeping my own hide side hide safe. I'm just considering the best way to beat this game. I do get what you're saying, but you guys gotta think about it rationally. It's not like we're not thinking either, okay? Keep it simple. Kitaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. We don't have enough time. Time to build trust, that is. Precisely. And yet it appears you are very trusting of Miss Sarah. Oh, you can tell? If I may offer my interpretation. Perhaps it is because Sarah and Joe are acquainted. Perhaps those two can vouch for each other and you conclude they can be trusted, yeah. Do I look that calculating? That comes as a real shock. It's just intuition. I'm confident in my eye for people. I see. However, there's a piece missing from your story. Oh yeah? Sarah, can't think of any rebuttals? Don't look so nervous. Put on your usual big shot attitude. Who do you even think I am? The godfather of Sinobin High Sinobino High School. Oh, can't you, can't you take this seriously? I don't know how to object. I don't know how to gain trust. Um, yeah, I don't know how to object. I feel like everyone's arguments are sound. I have no rebuttals to make. True. Thinking about it logically, you don't have much ground to stand on, Sarah. In that case, how about you have two people's statements duke it out? Duke it out? What? Pit opposing statements against each other to advance the discussion. You're just, So you're saying to borrow the words of others. I'll give it a try. Oh, he gave us a new thing. Jitaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. Ugh. What's that? Ain't experience important for this? It's because I can't imagine this game requires skill with a gun. Say what? Look at the room. Aren't these dolls curious? I'm betting they're dummy targets. Dummies. Shooting a human- shoot a human or shoot a doll. That's probably what this game's about. How does he know? What's important is a cool head. The targets can't move from the chairs anyhow. I'm always cool-headed, believe it or not. Even when you're pointing a gun at someone? Oh shit. It's an awful thing when the person you're looking at could die by your hand. Do you have experience with that, KG? Do you know what that feels like? You ever experienced that? I trust someone determined to save her friend more than an amateur with average training. I get it. Maybe I might not be up for it. But still, I got more to say. Suppose I'll listen. Yay, this is so cool. KG, doesn't that mean we should have you be the challenger? You must have been in tons of gunfights in your line of work. What was that? That is true. Indeed, I was wondering about that myself. Why the policeman who would be most suitable is not recommending himself. Guess you would think so, huh? If I'm gonna put my life on the line, I want the most dependable person I can get. If that ain't me, then it's KG. You're the only one. KG, what's the matter? Huh? We won't know if you keep quiet. What's- is he good? If you refuse, I wish to know the reason. At this rate, it will prove this- it will- it will prove an issue. We cannot end our discussion in this state. KG's lips are sealed. Have you never fired a gun? Why are you silent? Why make me do this? I doubt that he hasn't- I doubt had- I doubt that he never fired a gun before because he is a policeman and he was saying earlier about not knowing what it means to fire a gun at somebody. Why are you silent? KG, why are you staying silent? Oh, oh, he's got that look. KG, answer me. Whoa. We're all being serious. If you don't say what you're thinking, we won't know. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> what are you, my mom? Ha. Huh? <laughs> that was a good laugh. All right, I'll explain. I shot. Oh. Okay, he shot a person. I shot a person. Since then, I haven't been able to fire a gun. Huh? I know it's pathetic. Should have been prepared for what, I, what for that when I became a detective. But if something like that happened, wouldn't it make the news? Reality is not only what comes to the surface. That's all I got. It's the truth. I doubt he'll tell me anymore. But it seems I've extracted a new statement out of KG. Um, let's store his statement. And pit it against Kitaro's statement. 
Is that the truth? Yeah. On the job, right? Did you shoot? Did the one you shoot die? Traumatic, I bet. Real sorry, I can't live up to your expectations. Ever since then, pointing a gun at someone makes my head go weird. Can't stop sweating. Wouldn't want to make you do it then. So you'll count on Sarah, right, Kutaro? Hold on now, I'm still uneasy. It's our lives on the line, right? Kutaro! Managed to convince him this much with everyone else's words. Sarah. But in the end, I have to persuade Kutaro myself. Control of war of words? A war of words will begin with Kutaro. Kutaro's statements will appear in speech bubbles. By touching statements that you can refute, you'll deal damage to Kutaro. Choose, choose the statements that seem like they'd inflict the most damage and defeat Kutaro. Want to hear it again? No, I got it. Use your words and prove to me that you're worth trusting. Oh, what's this? War of words? Oh, oh? Oh? High school kid can't trust someone who's got Saint fun and games. My age for being a high schooler shouldn't matter. Grade schooler like Jane were here, would you have him do it? I mean, obviously we want someone with experience. That was a failure. We should leave it to- we already said Katie's trauma means he isn't even able to point a gun at a person, but you would still- Would you put your life in the hands of someone who wouldn't trust himself? Oh shit. Damn it, that's true. Just having the motivation doesn't mean nothing. You guys don't trust me, you really got confidence. Uh... That's wrong. Without motivation, you can't remain positive. Saying the power of positivity will give you the wisdom to beat this game? You can't prove that? Oof. I'm really- I'm really failing at this rate. I don't know how to do this. If I were putting everything on Sarah, it could be worse games to come, like mon like with monsters, right? Uh, Joe and KG have acknowledged me from the start. Ugh. And even now, that hasn't been shaken. Kitaro, please believe in me too. Ugh. Sarah doesn't trust others. Is there any chance she'll win? She might even end up shooting her own friend. Is there any chance she'll win? Sarah doesn't trust- What? Sarah doesn't tr- What? That's not true. I trust you all. Why leave it to someone else? Ah. See, I'm way more trusted. That was a fail. I keep fa- No, I keep fa- No, did I fail? I'm exhausted. Me too, I've never strained my voice so much before. Being honest and arguing it out is kind of refreshing though, huh? The discussion settled down. Shall we have our vote soon? Sorry, no you- No, you two are tired, but let's get started. Vote. Hey, we got- We got all our votes. Cool. Well, seems it's decided. There'd be no objections, right? Can't help that. Sarah, gotta admit that I couldn't trust you much from your words. But you've got two guys who believe in you. So don't let them down. You do that for me and I'll trust you too. Hitaro, what a cool thing to say. <laughs> Man, looking at you guys just makes me feel like I'm being selfish. Alright, good luck with the rest, Sarah. I'll be riding on you. It's all riding on you. I'm not gonna ride on you, Jesus Christ. Right, leave it to me. Well then, shall we take our seats? Kai. Now's not the time to think about the meaning of Kai's vote. Things are just about to get started. Oh, uh, what are we gonna do? What are what are we gonna do right now? Once I've prepared myself, I'll talk to the man in the painting. Yo, that took forever. Is it okay for me to get the rules now? Yeah. You found the gun with the bullets in this room earlier, right? And you should have also found dummy bullets in a different room. You've got three bullets and six dummies. That's a total of nine bullets you can load into this revolver. You gotta fire all nine bullets into everyone, human and doll, in any order you'd like. Also, the bullets are fired in clockwise order. Once you load them, the barrels spin and stop, which means the starting bullet is a mystery. If you fire all the bullets and all the humans survive, you win. Oh shit, it's Russian roulette. <laughs> this is not going to go good, is it? Because that's just what it is. Want another quick summary? No, I got it. Then let's begin. First, load up the gun hide- Oh, we get to load the gun ourselves? Okay. Alright, lock in the barrel. Let the barrel spin begin. <laughs> shaka, shaka, shaka. It stopped. Now fire it anywhere you want. But of course, shooting the same target twice and discussing what the target says against the rules. Hey, there's only three real bullets. It's simple. This is the one thing I can't mess up. I'm gonna do this on my own. Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to shoot anybody. Shoot. Let's just shoot a doll first. We can't shoot the same doll twice. I'm like really scared. Okay. So let's try. Okay. My heart was about to explode. Joe survives. Okay, it could start being the like the real bullets anytime soon. I loaded it up so that 
when we when we shoot the first real bullet, we'll know that the next two are real bullets. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's just feel numb. KG survived. Okay, I'm actually so scared that this is gonna be. Is it the same every single time? Let's shoot it all now. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. It's fine. I did it. Everyone survived. <laughs> Good. Oh. 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 <coughs> Fantastic. Now that's a job well done. No complaints here. You win. Seems a puzzle like this was a piece of cake for you. Truly brilliant. You deserve a hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That was actually that just scared the shit out of me. Uh -huh. Be glad and accept it. See ya. Ah, uh, that actually scared me so bad. Sarah, well done. Thanks. I changed my mind about you. Honestly, I regret making light of you. Miss Sarah, that arm. It's artificial. What a cruel trick. It came falling down from above. Find my body, was it? Ah. Seems relevant to that note with the doll's head. So it'd be a good idea to take this along? Guess we gotta. I'll carry it in this box. Guitar put the arm in the box. Stuffed it in so crudely. Okay, we got a clue of sorts. Let's get out of here. So never came back, did he? Wonder where he went. Did we lose him? Oh, well, I guess Sarah, you would so, right? It's dangerous to be alone, so I'll go- I'll search together with you. Thank you, I'd prefer KG, I'd prefer Kutara, I'd prefer Kai. So we can- do we get to choose? Or is it gonna be like last time where we supposedly got to choose, but so was our partner anyway? I'm just gonna say thank you. I don't trust these guys at all. Kutara's alright, but I don't trust them. So let's just say thank you. Wow, honest for once. Miss Sarah. Hmm? Earlier I neglected to thank you. Allow me to straight state my gratitude for taking on such an important role. Thank you very much for saving us amid such a great pressure. Don't mention it, it's only natural. Uh, don't mention it. Miss Sarah, you are no average high schooler. KG noted that you are clear-headed. But what's truly superb is your heart. Indeed, you have a mind of steel. However, overdoing it brings harm to yourself. You must not shoulder too much. Right. Come to think of it, Kai, why did you- Kai- Uh- what? What's happening? Miss Sarah? Is something the matter? What's going on? Why is it- Why now? Why did I only just notice? Why did I remember? Kai is- Kai- well, What? Kai's the stalker? You look unwell. I'm fine. I can hardly get any words out. I can't let him suspect me. I can't let him realize. Just who is- this person. Miss Sarah. Sarah, are you okay? Joe. It's okay, I just felt a little drained. Don't push it, lean on my shoulder and we'll rest. Let's walk, I feel like I'll calm down if we walk. Got it. So, that's why she recognized him at the beginning, because he's the stalker? Is he really the stalker? Sarah. I'm okay now. For real? Really. In exchange, if I say any complaints, you better come help me right away. So you're, so, so you're energetic enough to order people around. Fine, complain any time. I can't tell Joe yet. Okay. It's you! Hi. Sarah. Kana. Hey, is it okay for you to be up? I-, I What's the matter? Do you want to say something? Something happened in the hall? Do you want to say something? I just really wanted to ask you about my sister. What? I don't know about your sister. Give me an answer. Back then, could Kana have actually saved her sister? I was disoriented, so I didn't hear what everyone else said. But you and Joe and Mishima and now, you all had the same trial, right? Kana, could Kana have saved her? You could have, you couldn't have Astro. Whoa. What, what, what consequence, what... Because we could tell her that she could have, and that would probably- that maybe would make her worse. Um, what consequence would- because it- because she's already really frail and really scared. So if we tell her that she could have, she would probably blame herself, right? If we tell her that she couldn't have, she would be okay, but then- then that would be like lying to her. I, I'm gonna say you could have. She probably is gonna get really bad. I was about to tell her the truth when- Oh. My. Miss Kana, Rekko and Nao were looking for you, you know? Uh, I heard you talking, so I came over. Mr. Rechiwa, please tell me, I- You were unlucky, Miss Kana. Eh? 
because you only had one we only had one key we we had to remove the other restraints by force oh luckily miss now had myself and miss sarah had joe due to our having a strong man we ba we managed to barely survive no that's a lie it can't be it's not a lie it's the truth kana I suppose it was a trial of both assertion, the situation, and of might. For you and your sister, it was a trial with hardly any chance of success. I don't believe it. I won't. You're all trying to deceive me. It's true, Connor. Sarah. Even if it sounds like a lie, it won't change the reality. We're all telling you the truth. Miss Connor, you regret it, yes? I, Connor, killed her sister. Her sister was frantically trying to help, but Kana's an idiot. She didn't listen. Was your sister? What was your sister like? Sister. My sister was kind. Even when we fought, she'd never be cruel. She was always thinking about Kana. Why didn't she use the key for herself? Was it not that your very existence gave your sister happiness? Miss Kana, I can sense that you were loved as if it were in the very air. Surely you were raised with the utmost care, were you not? I'm sure she was a wonderful sister. Ah. Uh, sniff. Miss Sarah, if you were her sister, what would you say to her? If I was her sister, encourage her or show her affection? Her sister always showed her affection every time, but I don't- I, I'm gonna encourage her. Kana, you being there let me be strong even in hard times. I'm sure even if we're apart, I'll be there somewhere in your heart, so don't give in. Sister, I miss you. Now the time for blaming yourself has passed. Your sister is surely watching you from somewhere. Kana. Kana won't give in. Because her sister is watching. Kana. Reko. Damn it, you nutty professor. What happened to shout when you find her? Oh dear. Perhaps I'm me being yelled at. It appears I'm being yelled at. That's not it, Reko. See, um, let's go and I'll explain, okay? Really? Sure, okay. I will return to searching myself. Professor Mishima, thank you very much. You're a good liar. Uh, was he lying? I don't even know. Let's just say thank you. No, I am thankful to you. It's thanks to you following along that I was able to make something out of it. I couldn't do a thing. Miss Sarah, do you understand why Miss Kana came to talk to you? Eh? I'm sure they... I'm sure it's surely because you resemble her sister. That's why she wanted to hear it from you. I do? Miss Sarah, until we can leave here, please take the role of Miss Kana's older sister for her. And Joe, her younger brother. Come on, not the elder brother? <laughs> well, another time. Me, act as Kana's older sister? I wonder if I could do a thing like that. Okay. That was that that was intense. Both the cutscene with Kana and the the game room. I didn't know before playing this game that this was a horror game. Uh, so we're in for quite a treat. With that being said, um, I've been recording for a while, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you later. Bye.